good morning my dear students be half of chemistry department myself dr mahendra bursi welcome you all in the department of chemistry since today you are enrolled as a bachelor of chemistry friends we all are known since december 2019 a novel corona virus create a very bad pandemic situation which affects all the sectors all over the world in all aspects our education system is one of them it is also affected by covid-19 to reboot this affected system we should adopt online teaching learning methods or e-learning methods whatever facilities available with us like android mobile desktop laptop etc i hope you enjoy this e learning journey and cooperate with us let us move some step ahead of this online e learning journey of bsc chemistry for that you should join a google classroom created by our college or whatsapp group created by our college you should join this google classroom and whatsapp group Apa, uh, apart from this you should also adhere to complete your online assignments or quiz given by your teachers within time do not hesitate to ask any doubts any question about the course about the subject to your subject teacher okay friends before go to the actual teaching we should we should learn about basic some concept of basic chemistry and scope of term basic chemistry so for that i would like to share some slides so this is basic concept of chemistry friends what is chemistry chemistry is a branch of physical science that deals with composition structure chemical reactions properties and their uses of these substances is called as chemistry and these substances we called as matter friends question arises what is matter so matter is any substance around with us it may be cloth it may be metal it may be soil we also define matter is a simple association of elements for example iron or it is simple association of ions for example sodium chloride nacl that means na plus and cl minus ions is associated to form sodium chloride and we call as matter or it is simple association of molecules is also called as matter for example sugar molecule is associated more than number of sugar molecule is associated to form a sugar water molecule is there so these all are the matter and the chemistry that is the branch which deals to study or deals with this matter is called as chemistry for example friend uh, let us see one by one how it is deals with the chemistry first is composition so if you want to know composition of any mixture for example a and b for that the chemistry is involved it may be physical chemistry it may be analytical chemistry so to study the concentration or exact composition of any molecules in their mixture there will be chemist so next is a structure so for example water is a angular structure benzene is a six membered hexagonal rings carbon hydro carbon carbon alternate double bonds to study the structure of matters or substance we should deals with the chemistry the chemistry may be spectroscopy spectroscopic chemistry next is a chemical reaction so any type of chemical reaction acid base reaction neutralization reaction redox reaction oxidation reaction reduction reaction 
or any type of chemical reactions uh, going on with matter. So, if you want to study the chemical reaction, the chemistry is involved. For example, iron rod is corroded by aerial oxygen, that iron is oxidized to lose the electron and form the ferrous and ferric. So, this is oxidation reaction. If you want to deal or study with this reaction, you should have chemistry. So, it may be physical chemistry. So, next is the properties. If you want to study the properties of any matter or substance, for example, you can say the water. If you want to study boiling point of water, dielectric constant of water, dipole moment of water, uh, solvation property of water, refractive index of water. If you want to study the properties of the matter, so you also deal with the chemistry. That means it may be physical chemistry or it may be analytical chemistry. And on the basis of property of matter, you should have their uses in different sector for for example metal are strong so you should prepare the uh, doors by using metals or grills of the windows etc water the water is a uh, good solvation property so on the basis of water we can use as water as a universal solvent so on the basis of their property the substance can be used in different application basis and this uh, basis of this uh, properties of the chemistry, the chemistry are divided into different branches, broadly we classified as a basic chemistry, applied chemistry and analytical chemistry. So, uh, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry, these three are the basic part of the chemistry. Next is a analytical chemistry and next is a applied chemistry. So, the chemistry deals with the biomolecule, this branch is classified as a biochemistry. If chemistry deals with the polymers, it may be cotton, it may be uh, polystyrene synthetic or natural polymers. So, this uh, chemistry is classified as a polymer chemistry. The chemistry deals with the industrial processes or industrial sector, we classified this branch as industrial chemistry. If you deal with the, some drugs molecule or pharmaceutical products, so, this chemistry is classified separately as a pharmaceutical chemistry. If you want to study some rocks, alloys, we call so this chemistry is called a geochemistry. If you want to study the geological samples, and this chemistry is separately classified as an applied chemistry branch as a geochemistry. This applied chemistry and basic chemistry is incompleted without analytical chemistry. Hence, analytical chemistry gain a very important to the branch of chemistries. That means, without analytical chemistry, not physical chemistry completed, inorganic chemistry is completed, organic chemistry is completed. So, if you want to study, also need a help of analytical chemistry. That is why the analytical chemistry is very important and it gets more important because of without analytical chemistry, we can analyze anything about physical properties or metallic properties or organic property or spectroscopic properties. Okay. So, friends, our day start with a chemistry and end with chemistry. How it is? So, let us see by these slides. That is scope of scope and importance of chemistry in day to day life. Friends, we wear cloth and different cloths in our house around us. It is made up from from made up from cellulose, natural polymers or it may be for, from polyesters. So, these are in that case the chemistry also deals that means polymer chemistry is deals. If you want to study the cloth, there will be the polymer chemistry. Every day you use foods that is sugar, rice, contain carbohydrate. If you use vegetables, vegetable contains some vitamins and minerals. So, if you want to study the minerals, vitamins, carbohydrate, protein, etc., there will be involvement of chemistry. So, chemistry is important. If you whatever you eat, food material, there will be chemistry. Next, sanitary products, soap, detergent, etc. Friends, 
there will be the chemistry is involved that is soap molecule is a simple sodium salt of higher fatty acids detergent is a simple higher esters or chemical compounds it has a surface activity property and from this property we will use this compound as a soap and detergent and for sanitary product there will be a surface chemistry is involved friends in our house or around us some utensils are there it may be plastic metals or alloy so there will be metallic chemistry that is inorganic chemistry is involved every day we use different medicines anti allergic medicines anti fever medicine anti diabetic medicines anti cancer medicines these all medicines also deals with the a chemistry we call as a pharmaceutical chemistry friends it is important next daily we will use uh, different cosmetics that is uh, skin cream cosmetics uv protected cream available in the market some winter green that means wicks and iodex they contain some chemicals that called as a winter green so in this case also chemistry is involved for cooking purpose every day we use edible oils and ghee fats there will be oil chemistry next petroleum product that means we generally use petrol diesel biodiesel wax greases oils for our vehicles if you want to deals with this uh, products so there will be petroleum chemistry next for farming purpose agriculture purpose we use different agrochemicals fertilizers pesticides herbicides there will be industrial chemistry or agrochemicals involved there will be the chemistry is involved whatever pest in our house we called as insects mosquitoes we use for that mosquito repellents insect repellents there will be the chemistry is involved that's why we called as our day start with chemistry and end with the chemistry it's chemistry is very important subject important part of our life so let us see the scope of chemistry friends think like proton and stay positive proton is a positively charged molecule proton is a positively charged element so we think the positive so always think positive so after bsc what are the scope of bsc chemistry so bsc or bachelor of science degree open up number of career opportunities whether you are from math side physics side biology side or chemistry i definitely say from chemistry side you have number of opportunities so let us see the employment areas for bsc chemistry graduates include pharmaceutical sector agrochemical sector polymer sector plastic sector apart from this government also required this bsc chemistry as a chemist for different government laboratories defense laboratories forensic laboratories etc so this slide explain the broad view of the chemistry so where is chemistry is involved and no gets a number of opportunities if you have the chemistry the first is a uh, uh, university professors if you want university professor you did your post graduation after graduation post graduation then you apply for net set exam or if you completed your phd then you will be able to as a lecturer in university or colleges chemistry people also did their research in university or industry government labs that is uh, forensic laboratories etc chemistry people also work as a laser expert there will be physical chemist chemistry person also work as x ray expert chemistry people also work as a radiologist expert chemistry people also work as a patent agent system analyst environmental policy maker defense expert 
sales representative for every product cosmetic plastic polymer agrochemical pharmaceutical etc chemist fellow also you work as a geochemist it is also working as a nanotechnologist chemistry is also work as a water management analytical chemist chemist in different laboratories custom laboratories or different forensic laboratories and this is crystal engineering so crystal engineering gain uh, nowadays it's gain a very important that is uh, every pharma industry has a, a unique or new department we called as a polymorphic division that means by this crystal engineering you can develop different morphs of the drug molecule and you can file the patent and grasp the more money this is important for pharmaceutical industry that is crystal engineering then next chemistry field also work as lawyer or it is also work as medical agro representative technical writer also lab technician chemist field also work as a qc expert quality insurance or analytical development department or research and development department it also work as forensic laboratory it is also work as educational expert after graduation you can also go for higher education that is post graduation or phd we can say doctor of philosophy for higher research so we'll go next slide that is scope other than traditional you can also work as a scientist science communicator substantial manager or fragrance chemist all other branches are open for chemistry so you also grasp the government jobs you can also apply for upsc exam mpsc uh, and recruit for forensic laboratories lecturer for government colleges you also joined for government sector that is ongc ipcl iocl uh that is petrochemical industries are there you also work as a geochemist post for chemistry lecture at post these are the chemistry scopes so scope for higher studies after bsc chemistry after graduation one can also option for post graduation uh, studies in master in chemistry or doctor in chemistry or post doctorate in chemistry you can also We did the post graduation in different specialization subject. You can do MSc in physical chemistry, in analytical chemistry, MSc in drug chemistry, MSc in, in physical material chemistry, MSc in uh, by research methodologies also. Or you can also after a BSc you can also join for Master of Business Business Administration. That is you also join for PG diplomas. That is MBA or MCM etc. Computer science. these are the top phd institutes uh, in india where you can do your phd that is national chemical laboratories pune uh, csmc air bhavnagar that is central research uh, central salt of research marine in, uh, institute then iiser that is pune that is indian institute of science and educational research bhopal National Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad, Nagpur; IISC, Bangalore; IIT, Bombay, Chennai, Kharagpur; uh, Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai; and different research institute to the universities. You can also join uh, PhDs for in uh, different central universities also. So these are the some top top most uh, institute where you can do your PhD or higher research. After a PhD, you can also go for uh, post doc in uh, in abroad, US or European countries. You get uh, uh, money as well as your degree. So this these are the scope uh, for BSc chemistry. And I finally best of luck for your future. And thank you. In next lecture we will go. Uh, for actual syllabus structure for tybsc chemistry and syllabus so till stay home stay safe thank you